Sound, sound, sound. You're going to be on a delay. So I'm not going to know it until you tell me. Tell me if we have some freaking sound. I'm going to start this over if we have to. You can hear, you can hear. We're going to start this over. From the top, now that we seem like we got the sound over, let me just get one more thumbs up that you got the sound, and we're going to get rolling. Facebook, always trying to keep me down. Thumbs up, you can hear me. Let's do this. We're going to start this from the top. This is Steve Says, episode number 58. 50 freaking eight episodes destroying one of the longest running myths and lies that we've been told for years from your parents and coaches and teachers and whoever else in your freaking life. Steve says is basically a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome and destroy the obstacles preventing success in your health, your family and your finances so that you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together and start living life on your own fucking terms. It's about adapting and overcoming, becoming a better version of yourself, and basically trusting the process, and of course, not main, making any excuses. The invasion's coming. We will be ready. So today, it's the, the, the key word for today, the big word for today, three-letter word. Three-letter word is the word why. Why? And where are we at? Who, who, who can try to figure out what this word is? Not Why? Sipping on the herb life. The three-letter word, almost why, we were talking about why all weekend at our seminars. The three-letter word is try. Try. Been hearing a lot about it lately. Let's talk about trying. So are you really trying in whatever you're doing? Whatever your goals are, whatever your, your dreams are, are you really trying? Are you actually trying? Because this came about, if you, if you saw a video I did at the soccer game this weekend, and they, they had to stop scoring. One of the teams had to stop scoring because they were too far ahead. And then you hear some parents and coaches telling the, the, some of the kids, oh, at least you tried. You hear it all the time. At least you tried. So that's coming from the adults, going to the kids, and it's just going to be this vicious cycle going over and over again. So there, there are many motivational and inspirational quotes out there about trying. And I was going to open up this, this, this live broadcast with some of those motivational quotes. Good thing I didn't because we had some audio difficulties in the beginning. But... There's so many of those like great motivational, inspirational quotes. You know, the original thought was to open it up with that. You know, those kind of quotes that, that just are so motivational. They just get you all warm and fucking fuzzy inside, right? Then I realized, thinking about this soccer game, thinking about just the state of the world and the way kids are taught and the way the, the fucking parents are teaching them. So it's not like just the kids. It's coming from somewhere. And I realized all these motivational quotes... It gets you all fired up. And then I realized they're all fucking bullshit about why, 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 or sorry, try. Why is stuck in my head today about try. They're all, they're all trying, trying. All these, all these quotes, all these great philosophical quotes from the great minds of the world. And you know, I love my quotes, but they're all an excuse to quit and fail when you're talking about to try. You tried, or at least you tried. It's a fucking scapegoat. scapegoat. To try is to attempt to do or accomplish. To attempt to do or accomplish. To test or affect the result of something. Or to experiment. Or, or give it a shot. The other things that are, are go with try are a bid. Give it a go. Struggle. Give it a stab. Give it a fucking stab. Where we got? Yeah, we got some swords back there. Give it a stab. You know, try. Struggle attempt to do or accomplish just attempt to do or accomplish not to do anything not to accomplish anything but try just means to attempt to do or accomplish is try really going to be enough is try really gonna be enough to try is basically saying you're gonna fail try but you're gonna fail but just try so we can say you tried you're gonna attempt to accomplish it and do something you ain't gonna do shit but you're gonna attempt it so you're gonna try 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 fucking try Fail to, to, to fail is to fall short 
of success or achievement in something expected, attempted, desired, or approved. So look at the two definitions there. The two definitions, to try was to attempt or do, to attempt to do or accomplish, and to fail was to fall short of success or achievement in something expected, attempted, desired, or approved. Basically, to try and to fucking fail are the exact same freaking thing. It's the exact same fucking word. They just word it a little differently, a little fancier in the dictionary. So try sounds all freaking prestigious and fail sounds so horrible. They're the same fucking thing. To try is to fail. To try is to quit. Of course, of course you cannot, you know, live your life fearing failure and feeling, fearing about what if this, what if that, you know, all this other crap. And you must take risks and try new things and try to make shit happen, right? But, but if all you do is try, fucking try, and you don't succeed, then basically you've just failed. It's the same thing. Try and fail. Same thing. Most of the time, trying is not going to be enough. Obviously, almost all the time, trying is not going to be enough. Oh, I tried my best. Well, if you tried your best and failed, guess what? You still fucking fail no matter how hard you tried or claim or claim you tried. We'll get to that shit in a second. But, you know, and you tell the kids and you see the kids Hey, hey, kid, at least you tried. At least you tried, kid. Good job. Good job, Bobby. Good job, Billy. Good job, Susie. You gave it a good old try. Fuck that. You didn't give it a try. You were probably sitting there in law and not paying attention because your freaking parents or coaches or someone didn't give you the attention and the guidance that you freaking needed. So you think trying is sitting there spinning around circles looking at the fucking clouds and the birds in the sky when you're supposed to be kicking a damn ball. That ain't trying. That's spinning in fucking circles looking at a cloud and the birds in the sky. That you probably learned from the same motherfucker that tried telling you, oh, good try, good try, Billy. Give him a little pat on the head. Good try, good try. Whoever brainwashed us into thinking like this shit, they freaking lied to us. They lied to us. When, when, I, when I was younger, I was weak. I was fucking weak. I was made to believe this same type of shit. I was made to believe this is the way it's supposed to be. This, there was no more to life. Success just wasn't supposed to be for me. I was a little bitch, and I'll be the first one to tell you that. I would just say, well, I tried at least, you know, and then thinking of an excuse or fake an injury about why I didn't win or succeed. We're talking about when I'm a little kid. This is already what you're thinking. This is what you're told. This is what you're brainwashed. That you're just, you know, success. At least you tried. Doesn't matter if you succeed as long as you tried. You could be a fucking failure. You could be a fucking loser as long as you gave it a good old try. And this led me to winning absolutely fucking nothing for a long time in my life, except maybe some jail sentences. That's about all it fucking had me win. Anyway, so, so, okay, I tried, I tried, but, but it was just too much for me. You, you know, you went out there, you gave it a good old try, it's whatever you're doing. And now, and, and we're talking, I'm using kids as an example, but you know out there that 90% of the adults fall into this same category that need to get their shit together the same way too. And we're going to, we're going to switch from kids because I don't want it to make it sound like I'm talking about just kids because I'm really not talking about kids. I'm talking about kids to make an excuse to cover up that I'm talking about fucking adults, okay? Let's be straightforward and transparent and, and, and straightforward about it. I'm talking about adults here. I'm talking about adults because I see it, them telling their kids that shit and they're turning them, their kids into the same thing they are. The triers, the fucking triers, the failers. Okay, so the adults. Now let's, let's talk about adults, kids, whatever you want to think about. I really don't, I don't even care. It doesn't matter. So, okay, I tried, but it was just too much for me. It was just too hard. It was too difficult. It made me feel uncomfortable. I was, I was overwhelmed. I couldn't take it, but I tried. I tried my best. I tried my best. Motherfucker, you didn't try shit. You didn't try shit. Or you, then you, you'll tell yourself, I should slow down. This is just too much. I need to step back. Motherfucker, when it's too much, you need to push freaking forward is what you need to do. Listen. Listen to a few of these scenarios and tell me, does it sound like trying will be good enough in any of these scenarios? I'm just going to ramble some off. Okay, someone's, someone, your, your friend needs some help moving. Oh, I tried to make it there, but I, I couldn't make it. I couldn't make it. I tried. I tried. And that motherfucker's moving a dresser by himself and the shit falls on him. But I tried to make it there, buddy. I tried. You tried, but you didn't make it. You didn't help because you were fucking lazy, probably sitting on the couch watching reruns of fucking Beavis and Butthead with cheese doodle stains on your shirt. But you tried, right? You gave it a good old try. Or, I, I, you know, I tried to be nice to, I tried to be nice to him. I tried to be nice to him. How do you try to be nice? It doesn't make fucking sense. You either are or you aren't. You didn't fucking try to be nice. Oh, I tried to be nice. I tried 
to not, I tried to eat good this weekend. I tried to eat good this weekend and I hear that shit all the time. I don't want to hear that bullshit. I tried to eat good this weekend. You didn't fucking try because guess what? To try is to fail the same way try is to succeed. It depends on which way you want to take that try. Because if you really tried, you would have ate well that weekend. So you didn't fucking try because you ate shit. Right? Makes sense? Makes sense to me. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a hell yeah if, if this makes sense to you. What do we got here? Nick Sainz, who just won a TV. Do or do not. There is no try. Master Yoda. That's some brilliant shit right there. That is brilliant. See, there's, there's, a, there's a quote I should have found. But when you look up quotes for try, you get all this all this rah-rah bullshit, lying shit that they tell the kids on the soccer field that I just will not stand for. So, or I tried to do the right thing. I tried to do the right thing. You didn't try to do the right fucking things. If you tried to do the right thing, you would have done the right fucking thing. You can't try to do something like that and not do it. Now, if, if you're talking about a competition and you just get beat by someone that's just better or worked harder or more skilled and you got beat and maybe you tried up to your fullest potential and you actually, that's a different story. We're not talking about that. We're talking about situations like this. Oh, I tried to do the right thing. Or that car salesman. Oh, I tried to close that deal. Yeah, but when you go home to your kids and they say, Daddy, how many cars did you sell today? Is your kid gonna, is your kid gonna give a damn that you tried to sell three cars today? Or that you did sell three cars and now you can actually get him a birthday freaking party or whatever the hell he wanted. Trying to sell shit isn't selling shit. Trying to sell shit ain't paying the bills. Trying to do a good job is not doing a good job. It's doing a shit job. It's fucking failing. If it's not producing, if you're not getting a result, then, but you tried, if you try with no result, it's a failure. It doesn't fucking matter if you tried. It does not matter how hard you claim you fucking try because you know, first of all, you didn't try hard enough anyway. I tried to close that deal. I tried to make some money. I tried to save my money. I just couldn't save my money. You didn't try to save money because if you tried to save money, you would have saved your fucking money. I tried to be a good role model to my kids and look how he ended up. I tried with my kids. I tried everything. Motherfucker, you didn't try nothing. You didn't try nothing. I tried to teach you. I tried to tell you. I tried to let you know. I tried to tell you. If you tried to tell me, you would have told me I would have known. You didn't try to let me know. You didn't try to tell me because I don't fucking know. I tried to resist that temptation. I tried to not eat shit this weekend. I tried to slow down. I tried to speed up. I tried to win. But if you didn't win, you ain't try hard enough. I t- or let's look at it even a step further. I tried to save his life. Well, if you tried to save his life, that means you fucking failed and you did not save someone's life. You let them fucking jump off that cliff. That's what you did. You didn't, trying doesn't do shit. Trying does not produce. So, sorry, but trying just doesn't fucking cut it if you don't get the point by now. Don't use trying as an excuse, but use it as a fucking learning tool, if anything. Don't use it as an excuse to, to, to stop doing something or to quit or to lose or to freaking fail. Stop using it as an excuse. I tried, tried. I hear it all the fucking time. Now, now when it comes to actually trying, the, uh, like a real legitimate, real try, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to that, are you really trying? Are you doing enough? I guarantee whatever you think you're doing in any area of life, whatever you think you're doing, you could do a fucking hundred times more than what you're doing. A hundred times more, whatever you think you're doing. You think you're doing so much. You think you're just so effective. And so this and that in whatever you're doing. I guarantee you could try and do, not try, but do a hundred times more than what you're doing. If your life depended on it, wouldn't you do more every day? If, you, if your life depended on it, wouldn't you do more? Wouldn't you stop trying? Well, every day your life does fucking depend on it. Because you're carving the path for your life. And you're carving the path for your kid's life or the people around you in your fucking sector's life. So trying ain't cutting it. Are you, and are you really trying? Are you really doing what you should be doing? And are you doing your due diligence in all areas of your life? And if you didn't, if, if you didn't fall, right? If you didn't fall and get fucking kicked in the teeth while you were down on the ground and then, went, and then pushed back down and fucking stomped on and pissed on and shit on and, and, and puked on and, and you still got up a hundred times and kept Dive, driving freaking forward, then you never tried anything in your life. You didn't fucking try. That's trying. That's fucking trying. Then you could come and tell me I tried. Show me your no teeth from getting fucking kicked in and all that other stuff. And then you could say you tried. Almost as bad as using I tried as, I tried as an excuse to do less is when you just try in your head and you defeat yourself before you even start anything. You, you, you think about trying, I try. You, you can put all those tries in your head and they just swirl around and you actually do jack shit. You claimed you tried. You know what? Don't claim you tried. Step up your fucking game. Make a move. Stop being a little bitch. Seriously. You are always capable of being more. 
Stop limiting yourself to whatever ceiling that was put above your freaking head preventing you from fucking flying. Stop trying and start fucking flying. How about that shit? How about that shit? Stop trying and start freaking doing. Take some action. Take action. Don't try. Freaking do. Whatever you were told or led to believe was your limit and what you should settle for in your life or in whatever you want to talk about. Whatever you were led to believe is your limit and settle for. Fuck that. Fuck settling. You shouldn't settle for shit. And don't settle. You owe it to your family. You owe it to your kids. You owe it to all the people around you. You owe it to your your fucking self to do more. Use try your try as a tool to overcome failure, if anything, and a path towards fucking victory. How about that? Keep rolling no matter what. Don't stop because you tried. Because if you stopped, you didn't try. If you quit, you didn't try. If you failed, you did not fucking try. Fuck try and go and do. Make shit happen. Get your shit together. Stop being a little bitch. No excuses.